What I look for when I'm looking for a photo and, and trying to select something is it has a, normally it has an instantaneous, it hits me right away. There's a visual punch that I get. Can I explain that punch? No. It just seems magical. Or there's something about the lighting or something about the faces of the people that strike me as something I want to own. I'm Robert E. Jackson and I collect snapshots and other vernacular photography. I have about 13,000 snapshots in my collection. I have a partiality to the double exposure. Diving photos is one of a favorite area of collecting. I like silhouette photos. I like Halloween mask photos. I have a collection of dirigible photos, a collection of people blowing gum bubbles. I just recently purchased a photo of a man um, looking into the mouth of a woman, and I don't even know why the photo was taken, but the expressions on each of their faces and the way it was done just seemed humorous to me, and I decided I had to buy the photo. So I have a little bit of this and that. Okay, Robert, you might want to look at this box here. Oh, it good. has some of the newest arrival stuff right. that I sorted off to take to the latest okay, I'll do that. show that I went to. I find photos in local photo stores here in uh, Pioneer Square. I find them online. So one of the areas that I like is guys with glasses on. This is really wonderful. This photo here, I find them via shows that I travel to uh, called tabletop uh, photo shows, ephemeris shows, paper shows, where photos are available. I think I like this one right here. I'm sort of, yes, a little bit addicted to it, as a lot of my fellow uh, snapshot collectors are. Do You never know what you're going to see next in a snapshot, and you're sort of hungry for that next image. Okay, this is really a great photo to me. This is, uh, I love shadow photos, and this will fit well in my collection, and uh, it's very sharp and clear and mysterious. I sort of discovered photography about 20 years ago and found, for me, that um, collecting vernacular and snapshot photography was an inexpensive hobby and enriched my life. I retired from full-time corporate um, life about eight years ago and decided to devote myself to what was then my avocation, which I guess you could say became my vocation. I was um, honored that about 25 of my photos were included in the first of the trilogy of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children books. And I was fortunate to have the National Gallery of Art in DC exhibit my snapshot collection. In 2007, it was called The Art of the American Snapshot. It also then traveled to Amon Carter Museum in Fort Worth, Texas. Bring it up, it says yes, take the shot, count it down, zip it off, hey, meet the swinger, over right swinger, meet the swinger. Bellevue Art Museum has mounted a show of my Polaroid collection. The Polaroid really came into its own in the 70s and allowed for sort of instant image gratification through the ability of the camera to, to pull out a, an image that you could hold your hand and watch develop. And in the same time, there was um, privacy that was able to, to happen that you could actually take a photo that um, did not have to go through drugstores. My gun and my girl, oh my gosh. The response to my museum show and other gallery shows I've had have been quite positive. People have been very interested in the material, seeing them on the walls. When she's too beautiful for words, take a picture. What's different today about taking photos is that it's, it's so instant and so readily available and is really what I call the visual wallpaper of our lives, that we really sort of um, aren't really taking photos anymore of our families or our friends. We're really taking photos of our lifestyle and of ourselves. And so, as I've said uh, in the past, snapshots used to be about the we. Now it's really about the me. And it's so easy to, to delete things, that all the fun mistakes and anomalies that you might see are gone. They don't really have the meaning I think that they used to. Snapshots are about memory. And in some ways, the snapshot becomes the memory. And there's a beauty to that. People want to record their lives. They want something that's, that's a visual remembrance of what they're all about and where they came from. So there's a richness to that um, narrative about people's lives 
that is wonderful to be part of and to collect.